Hi Crypto Kings and Queens, my name is Natalie, welcome to my channel. In today's episode I will go through Bitcoin and I will also go through Ethereum and we are on Ethereum right now about to break this trend line that I'm having on the 4 hour chart. But what the most important thing is what could happen if we see the next 4 hour candle closing inside the trend line again. And I will go through Bitcoin, what I see and what potentially can happen. We see the market coming up right now, but I have on the higher time frames a target where I potentially can see Bitcoin come up to and then continues back down again. I'm not done with the bearish market right now until we're breaking certain levels. Remember, I'm no financial advisor. You need to look up everything yourself first, but please guys continue watching this video and I'll show you what I see on Bitcoin and Ethereum right now. <music> So we're starting off with Bitcoin and we're looking directly on the weekly chart and I'm having this previous resistance that we do have going to the daily. We can see more of a breakout retest, but these were the wicks that we're having on the weekly that you can see on the daily. So either we have broken this level and we are going to respect it right now with this daily candle as we're closing. We just might see the market coming up a little bit more during tomorrow and then we just might see the market coming back down again. But we can also use this previous support or resistance zones that we did have and have it as a new support if we're coming up and we see the retest of this level, market just might continue up a little bit more. It doesn't have to continue so much but it can definitely come up to this previous resistance that we also did have around uh, 50,600 or 700 and then after that we want to see how markets behaving around that level if we say break of retest from that level or if we're just coming up to uh, to that resistance again and then see market breaking to the downside market is not just going down market needs to come up a little bit for then continue back down i'm still going to have my targets uh, at 43,000 40 uh to 2000 before i see market actually reverse uh to the upside but we can also do something like this so for example if we're taking the daily um we're taking this high that we're having right here from 57,800 to the low at 46,166 you could also potentially see market coming up to 53,000 again and then market continues back down so these levels that we're having we're using them to see potentially where market can come back down to and if we're only taking a fibonacci on the daily and we are not breaking any candlesticks that you can see that could be combined with the fibonacci that i just had so market could potentially come up to 53,000 again and create a lower high and then market continues back down so market is not not breaking the downtrend just because we're breaking these levels that you see right here we just might have a bigger push to the upside and then market goes back down because looking at looking at the weekly chart or the two daily chart that is just the market creating a lower low and then market comes up and retest this previous low, lower low that we did have by creating a new lower high so depending on what time frame you're looking at of course you'll see different higher highs and higher lows and the higher time frame you're using the more the more you can understand why the market is moving to that level. So if you're just looking at the 15 minutes chart, you can see that if we're just breaking even more up, if you're just looking at this and you see one huge, you see a huge movement to the upside, of course, that will make you believe the market will continue up forever. But if you're going to the two daily chart, you can actually, you can actually understand why the market is going up. If you're just zooming out everything, you'll see that, oh, okay, because we never broke this high that we're having having around 57,000 and as long as we haven't done that the market is still going back down even if we're having small lower lows lower highs but this is I mean the market has to go up and down but you can you can definitely see a bigger a lower high created and breaking these ones and I wouldn't look at any buy position or see the market actually going to the upside if we're not breaking 57,500 and see clear breakout retest from that level and then continuation so that is why uh, I'm looking at uh, 53,351 uh, 52,000 to see if market comes up to that level again and after that we just have to wait and see how market's going to behave around that level if the market actually will uh, create I mean break it or not 
that's what I see right now on Bitcoin. And the target is obviously around 43,000. And I'm also looking at this previous low that we're having around 40,700 because that is the weekly previous higher low that we're having. So recap since a lot of videos before, as long as we're not breaking this level, we are still in a, in a uptrend. So that is what I see right now. And looking at the weekly, we haven't had any we haven't had any directly bullish candlestick at all. We just it, just small wicks, as you can see. So if we're having a bigger one, a bigger pullback to the upside, that could be the weekly lower high and then market continues back down. But we just have to wait and see. We have to focus on what's happening right now. And we're having the market coming up to this previous support also, as you can see. So if we're breaking it and you see the market retesting it, by tomorrow that could actually be the pump to the upside for then continue back down again now we're gonna go through ethereum on the buy bits website so this is how it looks right here so what i've done is that i've taken down these order books that you can see right here because i want to have a bigger screen on this chart so what i'm gonna do is that i'm obviously gonna take a fib from 3049 to the highest point at 4664 and we can see that we are right now at the 15 61 percent fibonacci level I do believe we will continue back down even more than that, but we're slightly above the 50% of the Fibonacci right now. So we're just going to highlight this so we can see what's actually going on. So we're going to the four hour chart and we can see that the market is bouncing. These are the wicks that we're having on the weekly, but we are also using a trend line to see what's actually going on. So we're just going to take a trend line like this and we don't want to cut any candlesticks uh, with the trend line. So I'm just going to adjust it a little bit like this and we are just taking it down a little bit like that. And now you can see that we are just where the trend line is, as you can see. So we're having the trend line and we are about to break it. We just might see the market actually reverse from it, but we can also come up to this previous uh, lower high that we did have around uh, 4,000 and see the market actually coming to this level. And after that, we just might either break it and you see the market retesting it and then market continues to the upside. Or if we're actually coming up to this level and then you see market coming back down even more. So we just might consolidate in between 4,000 and and uh, 3,600 around that level until we're actually breaking to the upside again. But we are still below this, uh, we're still below this uh, trend line. And if we want to be more sure about what's gonna happen after the market actually broke this trend line is to see what the market is, the next candle, the next four hour candle that we're having, if the market's actually gonna close above, but the next candle you see is closing inside the trend line again. And then after that, usually what happens is that you see the retest of the trend line and then the market continues back down to the Fibonacci levels and stays there maybe consolidate before the market actually either break to the downside or continues back up remember guys that this is bybit and on bybit we do right now have a bonus up to four thousand one hundred dollars depending on what you are obviously what you're depositing into your account but you can also go inside to bybit and analyze it different cryptocurrencies as you can see right here so it's just pick and choose and use this platform and you can see that it's it's pretty bit a, a little bit different than trading view but it's definitely working and also what's good about bybit is that they're offering you more than the bonuses that we are having on the four thousand one hundred dollars if you're going to a rewards hub you can also see they'll give you a, a different task i don't have any task right now but on my task you'll see in the beginning that you can get more bonuses if you're using a stop loss for the first time you take prop profit for the first time if you refer a friend if you're depositing a certain amount of bitcoin so you can find these on the reverse hub right now guys this is what i see on bitcoin and ethereum i hope you enjoyed the video please give this video a thumbs up remember guys you always should uh, trade with risk management and i hope you'll have a good day don't forget to subscribe and like this video so we can reach out to more people and show them how we are looking at the cryptocurrencies Mwah! from sweden